the media likes to cover things that interest people, and things that interest people are things that are controversial, and things that are controversial are things that are different than us. Well, when the attacks of 9-11 happened, I was actually in sixth grade, so I remember like my teacher crying and being very uneasy because it was in the news. I wasn't sure what was happening. Um, and I don't think they knew I was Muslim because, again, I didn't have the headscarf on. Yeah. But, like, when I went home, my parents were talking about how, like, now Muslims are going to be perceived as, like, terrorists or people who will look down upon us. Um, and they specifically pointed out on Muslims who wore headscarf or had the beard. I was invited to San Mark Church for a talk and it happened, the, the, the talk was scheduled like three weeks, you know, ahead of, of time. And what happened, it was immediately after the Paris attacks. And I expected like, you know, it's, it's recent and people are hurt. I expected maybe I was afraid some of, of the questions will be offending or people will, will not be that nice, but it was not that case at all. People ask questions because they're just curious to know the reality. And what I feel is, uh, and what I experienced like uh, from the so many events I, and talks I was like part of, People just ask questions not to embarrass you or to offend you. They just ask questions to know. I haven't had as much trouble as I, I had been, you know, um, expecting because I've heard a lot of things about what, what, ha what happened to Muslim women, especially on campus, before I came to America. So I was expecting a bit of an Islamophobia, actually, but so far, it's actually pretty okay. People are very accepting, and the only question people ask are like, what am I wearing? Why am I wearing it? No one's actually ever been, you know, aggressive. And so after reading and understanding the concept of what hijab is, and it's not an oppression, but a form of protection, as well as is God uh, given right to women, um, I chose to wear it and it's something that I chose because I don't want men to see me uh, for my beauty but rather for my intellects. The way that I, I, I'm most used to seeing uh, Muslims portrayed um, in the media is kind of second hand. I think that from the right the commentary is uh, particularly negative um, but I think I think that not because it's misinformed, but it is disseminating misinformation. Uh, there were people that were cheering uh, in the other side of New Jersey, where you have large Arab populations. They were cheering as the World Trade Center came down. I know it might be not politically correct for you to talk about it, but there were people cheering as that building came down. I mean, um, I would say after those type of events, um, if you went on Yik Yak, it was like a bloodbath. People were like, go back home. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. I was walking with my friend and there was this guy, he just came over to us and just asking for money, I think. But yeah, because, you know, some people, I think he was homeless, but he talked to us and we talked to him and I gave him like maybe two dollars and he suddenly said like, Assalamu alaikum to me and it's like, oh, you know that, that greeting, you know, because it's, it's such a, it's a Muslim thing, Assalamu alaikum, it means like peace be upon you, so it, it's like we use it to greet, you know, each of um, among us Muslims, but when, when I know that someone who is not a Muslim knows that, it makes me feel like, oh, okay, that's nice. It makes me feel included, so yeah. Where the big fault lies when we look at other religions, whether you're Christian, Muslim, atheist, agnostic, Buddhist, you believe in Zen or whatever you come from or whatever you are going to, the media tries to look at our differences because controversy is exciting. And it's really when we begin to look at the similarities of religion, that we believe that we all believe in love, helping each other, being the better person, turning the other cheek. Regardless of who you are, it's about being the best you can be so that you can be the best for the other people who need your help.